After many years of trying, I have finally, finally got one of these. The Midland GMRS Base Camp Radio. Model number XT511. More accurately, this one is labeled XT511A on the back. I looked up the FCC information on it because I could not figure out what the max output of this was. And to my dismay, and it supports kind of my real world testing, just it's not performing as well as their 2.5 watt, 2.8 watt handheld GMRS GXT1000. Reason why is this thing is only 1.5 watts. Bum, 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 bum. Comes with an old school AC adapter, old school, old school DC adapter. But you do get an AM, FM radio, you get a clock, you can set the alarm on it. Uh, it is weather. Uh, it does have weather, you know, alert system in there, but it also has the cool crank, so you can crank this and recharge that battery with some significant human power, about, you know, 10-15 minutes, get you enough charge to try to transmit just slightly. Let's see, it can run off of four double A's, or you can have it running off of that rechargeable battery. You do get the mic, and you can detach that, and you can use the built-in mic on the front or the speakers. You know, that and it does have light on the front. So, I mean, de non-detachable antenna. So, is the juice worth the squeeze? No, it definitely wasn't. Uh, you know, 125 bucks when I bought this uh, is not worth it to me. Maybe it's worth it to you, but this is basically functioning no better than, uh, you know, an FRS radio could. Now, I'm saying that they're making FRS radios out there uh, that are this powerful, but they could be. You know, FRS could be up to 2 watts on those shared GMRS frequencies, except for those channels 8 through, what is it, 8 through 14, uh, that you can only do half watt on, and that's what this thing automatically does. So, if you turn it up, you know, you got to make sure you're on high power to get that 1.5 watt output, and, you know, if it's on low power, it's only going to put out uh, 0.2 watts, and this is all according to FCC testing. Trying to pick up somebody. Uh, you know, but if you do switch it down, switch the channels down to those 8 through 14, it automatically drops it to low. Okay, there it is. You know, I'm not trying to knock Midland or anything, but if you're considering one of these out there, you're not going to get 40 miles. There ain't no way. I don't know how they got that. But, hey, I mean, it works. It's just not going to work as good as uh, I thought it would be. And I did reach out to Midland for comment. Uh, they first told me that... Um, you know, that's trade secrets, proprietary information. They can't give out the output. I'm like, give me a break. I'm doing this. You, I'll just go with what the FCC says it is tested at and what they actually submitted. They actually submitted this as a 1.6 watt radio and it tested out at a 1.5 GMRS. So, and that's on the high power. And it is narrow band. Uh, what else? Oh, you might want to know this because I'm sure someone will ask. Of course, it is not repeater compatible. Bum, 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 bum. There it is. Oh, we do got this nice, we got a nice shoulder strap, and you can put your mic back there if you want. Tenor folds down, all that good stuff. Boom.